Welcome. Please tell us a bit about yourself. Hello, my name is Magnus Lars and I work as a technical art director at uh, Massive, a Ubisoft studio. And I've been with Massive for uh, 12 years now. And I have been uh, working uh, as an artist in one way or another all these years. What does a technical art director do? Well, a technical art director is uh, very different on uh, different studios, but at Massive it's mainly to be the interpreter between code and art and also carry the vision forward for our tools and technology. What projects have you worked on so far? Well, uh, I came in a bit late uh, on the first project Massive did, uh, Ground Control 1. So I have worked a little bit on that and I worked on Ground Control 2 and also a little bit on World in Conflict, or well, from start to end on World in Conflict, but uh, also helped out on the uh, sequel uh, to World in Conflict, or the expansion, I would say, yeah. Which one was your favorite? Well, I would say Ground Control 2, because that was the first game I was from the start to the beginning, and you learn a lot about how a game uh, evolves during its uh, production years. Games is said to be a very fast-changing industry. Uh, how does that affect you and what do you do to keep up? Well, I would say it especially affects us as technical artists or technical art directors uh, because you always need to be the one that has the utmost uh, know-how and know uh, to... Uh, I've always tried to keep updated on news, I read news blogs and so on. For me personally, being in Sweden, creativetools.se is a very, very good news site for the latest information. Uh, I'm sure they're around here somewhere. They have been before. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, it's like CG Talk and uh, being on places like this, Nordic Game or GDC and Seagraph. What inspired you to start working with games? Well, I've always been... Uh, drawing things and interested in computers and suddenly when I moved to Stockholm I rented an apartment and uh, rented it together with some people that were into 3D and back then there was no schools for this stuff so uh, it was just a happy accident that oh I draw and I like computers and here's a guy and uh, people that know 3D and it kind of got together and uh, I learned that way and uh, I always played games and it became a natural uh, uh, yeah, path to take with the 3D. Uh, so it's all these things combined. It's uh, never been any schools or a dedicated goal for me. How did you get your first job in the industry? Well, that ties into my previous answer, but um, basically uh, I used to post uh, my pictures on uh, the news groups. Uh, the old school system uh, that's yeah uh, was the first way of communicating on the web but um, I posted my uh, pictures in alt binaries lightwave dot pictures or something like that and um, I got a lot of response and I got some job offers from that and then I started to mail uh, other companies in Sweden and I got a lot of responses and Massive was one of them and that's how I got my first job in uh, the game industry is working with games like you expected? Yes and no, I would say, because uh, there are, uh, the projects are so long, so it's hard to see always, you know, the goal. And before you've been through a whole project, uh, you don't know how that feels and how that works out. So it's kind of hard to uh, yeah, know in advance what you're going to experience. But it's a lot of fun because it goes through different stages from you know, conception to a prototype to a production and then uh, polishing for gold release candidates and so on. Do you have any final advice for people who want to work with games? Well, I would say strive to be the best at what you do because it's a hard industry. We always want the best people and a lot of people want in, so strive to be the best. Okay, thank you.